What's happening, everybody? It is Sunday night, and we're doing an all video. Welcome to Jay and May's Thrift Halls. Tonight, I will be Chicago Jay. And? Hi, I'm Philly Nay. <laughs> What's happening, Nay? Oh, nothing. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. I am good. I am just uh, recovering from chasing my wife around a marathon today. Awesome. So before we get into uh, what's before we get into that, I want to say what's up to my uh, wife who is laying behind me right there. There she is. Woo! She ran a marathon today and kicked ass, and uh, I chased her all over. Uh, we are in Chicago, so I chased her all over Chicago, trying to get some good pictures of her and see what's going on. So uh, she finished. We went to have dinner. We had some cocktails, and now it's time for a haul video. Yay! And hey, who are our guests tonight, Nadine? Um, our guests are very special. They happen to be your parents. Get out. My parents? <laughs> <laughs> hey, there they are. Peggy and Regan. What's happening, Mom and Dad? Hi, guys. How are you doing, everybody? Good, good night in Ohio. Good weekend in Ohio. Ohio State won. Browns won. We're happy. Your daughter-in-law finished the marathon. Yay. Yay. My... my most favorite daughter-in-law. <laughs> so as a heads up, if there's a little lag on our voices, the Wi-Fi in my hotel is so horrible, it is faster to piggyback the Wi-Fi off my iPad. Okay, so just bear with us. We always want to bring you a show, but sometimes our, uh, our settings are less than ideal, and I will be having words with uh, Starwood about their shitty Wi-Fi service. So that being said... Let's get to my parents' uh, hall, and we haven't done a, we haven't done a guest hall in quite a while. So, uh, my parents uh, went to the brand new Savers in Cleveland, and they cleaned them out of all their good stuff. So, let's see what they found. Okay, right, mom and dad, you are up. All right, hi everybody. Uh, we're excited to uh, show you our goodies. It was a good day. It's our second Savers that's opened up in our area, both on the west side. So, still a little bit of a, a trip for us to get to it, but definitely well worth it. Um, the first thing I'm going to share is, uh, this is something brand new for me, but when I saw the bright colors, of course, I jumped over to, to take a peek. These are shirts by Toucan Dance. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows that label or not. Very brightly colored. Of course, you know, us with the Hawaiian thing. Uh, you know, you drew my eye to them. So there was a bunch of different patterns. So I headed over that way. And um, it's, a, it's a label... I've got two different labels here, and I don't know if you can see this or not. I will give it a try. Um, is that anybody? Can you see that? If I get hey, close, to my... any any good at all? Now go up a little bit and lean back a little bit. Now, but don't go farther away. Come closer now. Okay. <laughs> keep coming. Okay. Keep, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. All right. Now, yep. Yeah, push it back down there. Yeah, it's kind of pulled up because of the other tag. The other tag. Uh, anyways, um, I did look these up online. I was, you know, was doing my research as we were going through the savers, and uh, this ended up costing us two dollars and seventy nine cents because it was thirty percent off discount day, and uh, they are they're retailing pretty nicely online, anywhere from thirty to forty bucks. So we picked up four of these in four different kinds of prints. So definitely like that. Um, you gotta give us some suspense there, not just like four. You're like, not one, not yeah. two, not three. What, what, what size are those? Or they're men's, I'm assuming, right? They are men's and they gain and two XL. Nice. All two oh, XL. Oh, even better. The size drew me too, and I said, "Ooh, yeah." Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. You know, when, when Dad and I hit savers, Dad heads to the men's section. I usually do the ladies. So Dad hit the jeans section, and the best thing that we can, came out with was a uh, new tag, the Levi 505s. So they ended up costing us um, nine eighty, but you know I know we can get a pretty good forty or fifty bucks on these, hopefully. So, so that was a good one. Um, yeah, let's do the boots. Brand new, not new with tag. Oh. I don't think they've ever been worn. This is a New Balance hiking boot. I mean, that sole is brand new here. Very and nice. Yeah. That boot's never been hiked ever. <laughs> no, uh, size 13, 13 and a half, They're saying. It cost us ten dollars and forty nine cents, and Dad just looked it up, and one a pair just sold for one hundred six dollars. So, you know, mm. hopefully we'll, we'll make a couple of bucks on those. Okay. 
I think you'll make a couple. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Vera Bradley purses, they had, uh, they had a bunch there, actually, and I just kind of fooled around with them a little bit on, on patterns, trying to see what was in the best of shape. Uh, I did one on the left. Um, can I see that for a second? The yellow one. Yellow one? Mm hmm Yeah, I think I have that. Um, no, it's a different pattern. Different, I, have, I have one called Yellow Bird, but that's not it. Yeah, I mean, I know I'll have to do my research. Um, I always go to the Vera Bradley retired patterns, uh, you know, uh, little section, and yep. usually you can find them. It takes a while to go through them all, but usually you can come up and, and find those. Um, so I have to send nine, and, 9 on one and 10 on the other. I usually try not to go over the $10 limit on my Vera Bradley bags, you know, to try and make my profit. So usually 30 40 bucks on those, somewhere in that vicinity. And then this was kind of neat and unique. I thought this oh, would that's be cool. Really, is it the Beatles? Um, it's called a cylinder tin. Yeah, a cylinder tin bag. But after we did Turn our it. Turn it. Yeah. What? See. It? Turn it. At four dollars and ninety cents. I like the, the you know they got the Swarovski crystals on the uh, latch here. Oh yeah. Right there. It's brand new. It's brand new. Uh, never been used. Beautiful inside. Here, I'll give you a peek inside. It still has the tag. Here's the inside, guys. Wow. Yeah, um, but you know, but they didn't retail much. But they're only retailing around fifteen dollars or so. So yeah, I, don't, really? I might start at that higher, being the Beatles. You know, Let's see if I can get a better shot with that. Um, but over to the hat section, these all cost us two dollars mm -hmm. and seventy nine cents. <laughs> hey, Beavis. <laughs> I can keep from my bunghole. Nadine won't, Nadine won't know those references, but I'll, everybody else. I used to watch Beavis and Butthead when it was on liquid television. When Get I, when it out. You always surprise me. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. This is a uh, Route 66 uh, with a Corvette on the lid. And yeah, these, uh, these bring in some decent money. You know, we're looking like 15, 20 bucks. And of course, Miller Lite. I think they always sell no matter what. You know, so that was in the hat section. Well, plus, the, the, even though even though we're in the fall, that that Miller Lite would be good if you haven't sold it by uh, St. Patty's Day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good point, Jace. Good you know. point. Um, they only had one sweater that I really thought had any value to. Oh, <laughs> I think I sold the same exact sweater. Yeah. Do you know I what you it was a, What brand is that? This one is uh, Victoria Jones. I think I sold the same exact one a few weeks ago. Okay. Yep, I let it go. <clears throat> Excuse me, I let it go for um, how much? I think twenty four ninety nine, but I could have gotten more for it. Yeah, I mean this was this cost us two seventy nine after our discount, so that was good. Mine was also a petite size, I think, so yeah, and that, that kind of uh, made it uh, not sell as well. Um, the next item, I don't usually um, buy Planet Hollywood shirts because they don't sell like Hard Rock and Harley Davidson and some of the other ones, but this one was so colorful. And I thought, well, I'm going to look it up online. And as I did, I was pleasantly surprised because they do sell. This particular one seems to be a favorite, and it only cost us two bucks. So, uh, you know, and then they, they see, they were, they're selling for around 40 bucks. So. That was the original. That was the ones that all of the stars would wear that owned it. They would walk the red carpet. And they go up and down. I've sold some for uh, in that 40 to 50 range. And sometimes for twenty five, but still for two bucks, that is an easy profit yeah. maker right there. Yeah, it's dated on the tag. It says nineteen ninety one. So that might you know help that us say a little. Planet. Planet. Yeah, yeah, good, good point. I have, I haven't looked that far. Right, yet. Well, tell us your next thing, and I'll tell you when Planet High was started. All right, well, all right. This I only, I bought mainly because I saw the color. Oops, let's get it up right here. It's a dress. I don't know how much you can see of this, guys. I can back it up a little bit. But the thing that caught my eye, and here's the button, buttons down the front, was the uh, the vintage tag. And Jason, we're going to try this again and see. If this, this is an awfully tiny tag, guys. The name on it is Sir, Sir Box of Florida. Anybody know that name? I, I don't. Sir Box? Like Sir, yeah. Madame and Sir Box? <laughs> it's working at all? Yep, keep coming in. Okay. Yep. So that's the label, and definitely an old timer. Yeah, that's a vintage for sure. All right, yeah. Planet Hollywood started on October twenty second of nineteen ninety one, so that is vintage to the year they opened. Ooh, well then maybe I can get more money. Yeah, there you yeah. Go. yeah, yeah, we we will definitely. Um, then 
Nadine, because of you, yeah, I'm always looking out now for Chico's because you oh, okay. yes. so well. And I picked up this sweater. It's, an, it's a nice, long, oversized type sweater. You know, one of the, maybe a coat sweater. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. It's nice. Can I see the label? Yes. So I need help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a regular Chico's label. That's a newer label. Um, what size is it? This is a medium. Okay. Okay. Well, it says size two. Yeah, um, two is more like a large. More like a large. Okay. Cause I don't think what is it with girls' sizes? That's ridiculous. Yeah. Because of vanity sizes, that's why. Cost me six ninety nine. Any any help on what I should try and list it for me? Um, my gut instinct says forty nine ninety nine with best offer, but. Okay. Um, look up similar ones and see what they've sold for, um, okay. but I would I would try you know at the high side at, at that because it, it's nice and it looks like it's heavy so. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's re a really nice sweater. Now I know this is not an exciting uh, sweater, but it was new with tag. And it's just a coral uh, V-neck Van Heusen in a size medium, but it cost me two dollars. You know, so new tags, yeah, that'll sell it, yeah. You know, they're all here, so I figured, what the heck, you know, for two bucks you can't pass those up. It's hard to, to let go. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to let Dad take over because these are his finds. Um, he's had some very good luck with this, and I'll let you take over, really. Okay. Oh, I stopped at a garage sale that uh, was just going down the road, and it was country, and the guy had nothing but junk. <laughs> I mean nothing but junk. Oh, and it rained that that everything was rained on. But he had six polo mallets sitting there. Vintage. Vintage polo mallets and all vintage polo mallets are bamboo shaft. Can you see that? The bamboo shaft at all? Yep. And he had okay. six of them. Uh I, I I don't know a thing about bamboo uh, uh polo mallets. And I had nothing that I couldn't check anything, but I said, "Let me see what I can get them for." Well, I got them for a dollar seventy-five a piece, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I sold three of them already. I sold two of them for fifty-nine dollars each, and the third one I sold for thirty-two dollars each, and I got three to go, and I think they'll sell. Yeah, so right. now I'm a polo mallet aficionado. If you need to. <laughs> So if you have vintage polo mallets, my dad will help you. Yeah, I mean, yeah we're, we're, we're totally shocked when uh, when dad uh, found them. And this was his other find. Yesterday. Uh-huh. Just stopped at a garage sale. You see this? Keep going up. Up, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, now spin it over. You're actually upside down right now. How's that? Yep. That is a Arnold Palmer designer. And the club, it's a, it's a wood putter, wood head putter. That is and awesome. I said to the guy, hey, what do you want for that there? He says, I have no idea. I said, would, would a dollar do it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, country garage sales. Holy well, cow. Well, once again, I didn't look it up. I didn't have anything. with. I come home, I look, there's two for sale right now. Two. One's $79, one's $81. None have sold. So we put it up for 84 bucks, and uh, and we'll see what goes on. I think that's a good dollar purchase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I left this out. Um, we, we had a garage sale this summer. Uh, basically, we, we, we have very good luck at garage sales here in Ohio in the summertime. Of course, you know, the winter, they're, they're shut down. But um, the, because you can find the best deals at the garage sales, you know, not many people know what they have, what's worth anything. In this one particular garage sale, we bought a number of items uh, from leather chaps by Harley Davidson, a Harley Davidson leather vest, a Cleveland Indians jacket, a Cleveland Browns jacket, and then we found this jacket. Does anybody remember this person? <laughs> one of my very, very first concerts. Open it up a little bit. Uh, you know. Conway, Conway Twitty. Conway Twitty. Fine, that's, that's his name here. All right, so I got to ask Nadine. Nadine, do you know who Conway Twitty is? I didn't think so. <laughs> he had a place called Twitty City. Well, he built he built the city, and yeah. it was called Twitty City. 
you, you got to YouTube Conway Twitty later so you understand how nutty this jacket is. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, you, you know, it's all silk and. Uh, it's, a, it's a like a baseball jacket, you know. So we bought it for was it three or four? Four dollars. Four dollars. Sold it yesterday. Over the weekend for hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. So that was a really nice, good find. Also at this garage show, we we spent. What was our total? We think I don't know. Maybe we spent. I don't even know if we spent around a hundred bucks, but totally from one garage sale. So far, we've profited over five hundred bucks. We, we did five hundred dollars so far on that garage sale. Yeah. So that that was a really really good one. Um, getting back to the savers that we were at in Cleveland, when we purchased these, I thought they were needlepoint. Okay. There's one. And it's a poet. Uh, yeah, this is by that one was by Beddoes. This is Longfellow. Longfellow. They, yeah, 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 they're they not. Are. Yeah. They are neat. They're the yeah. hand, they're hand painted. Hand painted prints. Prints. Yeah. yeah. So that was something new and different for me. Like we didn't look close enough, you know, when we were at the uh, angle a little forward now. Yeah. Little, is that better? You know, we're getting a glare. Would you pay for those? Three dollars. Three bucks. Apiece. Yeah, so I think we're gonna throw these up there for. Uh, I think I'm gonna sell them as a pair because they're both poets. What do you think? I would sell them together. Yes. Yeah. I, I think sixty-nine yeah, bucks. You get the, uh, then the other thing that we found at Savers, a lot of you know uh, paint by numbers, I'm sure, and, and you know, you have to watch out for your paint by numbers because there's the the ones that are from the fifties and sixties, but then there's also the ones that are newer. This is definitely from the 50s or 60s game, and it's a good size. Wouldn't we is that am I placed all right? Yeah, you're a place perfect. Okay, um, it, and we've looked this one up, and this cost us uh, what was this? three dollars, three bucks, and we're going to list this for around 40 or 50 bucks. Nice. Yeah, so that that was a good one. We really like that. Theme too. Or something yeah. Like that. Yes. Anybody involved with sailing or fishing yeah. or the water or the sea? That'll be really nice. Um, the chat, the chat recommends splitting up your two uh, uh, other ones. Oh, okay. Say your, that again. Your, your painted Longfellow. Yeah. Splitting them up. Oh, splitting up? They think yeah. I should split them up? They think, yeah, they, they disagree. They think they usually Would you split like them. to see my Longfellow, Mommy? <laughs> oh, we just went crazy right there. <laughs> uh, we, we picked up, um, I do a lot with nurses' scrubs. I don't know if anybody else does out there. We have pretty good luck with them. Uh, so I picked up some holiday ones. You know, these are costing us uh, two bucks, and I usually I usually run them around fourteen ninety nine, depending on the print. Um, if it's Disney, it's a little more. If it's uh, you know Warner Brothers, it's a little bit more. That's interesting. That's one section that I always pass right by. I never buy. I never buy scrubs. I don't usually sell them for less than ten dollars. Okay. Buy them for two. You know that. You know that. that uh, you can you can buy them for fifty cents. Yeah, I bought. I think they're uh, three ninety nine in my Goodwill. So. Yeah, I um this past summer at, at a big huge outdoor flea market, uh there was a ton of just piled up and I started going through them and she sold them to me for fifty cents a piece. Wow, that's great. Oh, yeah. So that that we, was. We've a, sold a number of them, buy. really. Yeah. Um. Hawaiian shirts. I mean, I know we all know a lot about Hawaiian shirts, but we did happen to find this at Savers. It's a Tory Richard. I just thought the print was so different, so unique. Oh, nice. That is nice. Yeah, isn't that a pretty one? Is it modern or old? What? Oh, well, here's a. Let's see, honey. I don't know. Is that a newer tag? Yes. Yeah, newer tag. But I just love the print. I mean, maybe Dad should keep this. I don't know. It's awfully good looking. <laughs> what size is that? That is, what is that, Ray? It's still large. XL. XL. Oh, good. Yeah. Now, so, before, oh, hang on, before you go yeah. on, because the chat disappears afterwards, so anybody watching this after the fact, the brand of scrubs does not matter. Oh, right. It's all about the material, uh, the, the print. So, yeah. Disney, Peanuts, uh, the Christmas, print. whatever. The yep. print and the and the sh the shape it's in. Yeah, I've got a couple of Halloween ones up right now, you know, because you know they. Yeah, the, the less blood stains, the better. <laughs> I, I always worry about that too. Like I'm gonna miss something on it, you know. When I, that's another reason I have passed them up. But I should probably take a look. I live in a obviously in a city with a 
a lot of hospitals, so uh -huh. there's a pretty oh. big scrub section. Oh, look, that scrub's got hepatitis C right on it. How nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm so bummed I could not find the bottoms of it to these, but this is a Nick and Nora. I cool. Try and look and see if they're around. These are owls. Yeah, that's cute. I thought, I, and Adina, I thought you were going to say, oh, I got the bottoms. <laughs> I do have the bottoms, actually. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. For sale? No, they're mine. Oh, okay. and the dog put a big hole in them, so. Oh. <laughs> I mean, has anybody else out there sold just tops? Oh yeah, I've sold tops. Have you? Okay, okay. I what sold a, I sold a set on Friday for like forty five. Nice. And uh, I sold mm -hmm. a Betty Johnson sweater for fifty also this week. Well, Nadine, you say you got the bottoms. Do you have the top? No, but my bottoms. Well, here, here you go. Bottom, <laughs> <laughs> my bottoms now have a big hole in them, so. Oh, time to move them on, huh? Yeah, the dog ripped a big hole in them, so it's time. Yeah, they're. And this I picked up at Savers only because it was new with tag. We're talking Disney here in Pooh. It's a night shirt, brand new. You know, so just picked that up really quick. That was two dollars. Can't can't hate that. Uh, in the t-shirt department, I, I we we bought a bunch of t-shirts, but I'm just gonna highlight just a couple of them. Uh, most of the price was around two fifty. Yeah, this is brand new. Uh, Bacardi. You know, Jason always says look out for the the liquor ones. They usually sell well, so we have that. And Jason said he just sold a Bob Dylan um, T-shirt, so I, I do have one of Dylan. Yeah, I picked up uh, one of the ones I bought with you, Nadine, at the Goodwill in New York City. I, I sold my first shirt from that haul, uh, Bob Dylan and the Band, for like thirty bucks, I think. Yeah, not, not was that one of the ones that was was that one new with tags? Because you had a bunch of new with tags. No, that one. I mean, I think they were all new. Some had tags, some didn't. But that one did not have tags, so that was my yeah, first one to sell. That was, a, that was a lot of shirts. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, no, I'm a little iffy on this. The Lady Gaga tulip shirt. But again, you know, oh, Lady Gaga. Yeah, I I really like her quite a bit. So the good, the good thing about Lady Gaga right now is she's on TV every week. She's in the new season of American Horror Story uh, called Hotel, and she's basically the lead character who likes to suck blood. So she's basically a vampire. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, I've never known that. Yeah, so she's on TV every week, so she's got that added exposure, too, for people who like to watch that show. So now's a good time to have a Lady Gaga stuff. Right. This also came from Sabres. Yeah, this also came from Sabres. Jason, do you know this Hawaiian shirt label? Suma? 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 Yeah, I think it's a budget line. I, th I thought so, too. The only reason I picked this one up, everybody, is because it had the Volkswagen Beetle on it. Oh, yeah, that'll sell. Okay. So, yeah, I, I thought, well, that was kind of unique, and you know, only because it had the bug on it. This one, I love the print, and I love the Hawaiian girl on this one. Oh, that's adorable. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. now, I don't think there's any special label that says Hearts of Palm. Let me see it. Okay. I don't know. Please, please, mommy. Yep. I've never even seen that label, so I would say that's a just kind of a crappy budget label. But you re, you don't even need that in the title because that mm -hmm. print is so awesome. Look at look at the hula girls on that. I just I have to keep that one myself. I don't know. <laughs> Everything my mom and dad show, like we might have to keep this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do that too. It's a challenge sometimes. <laughs> and one more. This was a Hilo Patty, but again. Can you see uh, the hula girls scattered throughout on here? Oh, yeah. Very cool. So, you know, that's, you know. And the vintage. Uh, and this is, um, look yeah. at this one, Jason. Do you know this label? Were either of those wall fall, oh, I'm sorry, were, you the, were either of those silk, Mom? Um, yes. Yes. The Hilo Hattie is. And the Suma isn't? No. no. Okay. So there you go, chat. Hilo Hattie is silk. Suma is not. Yeah. What about this label? Uh, yeah, I've sold some Shoreline Hawaii's before. Yeah. Okay, I mean, it definitely looks vintage to mom. Um, so here, here, here's the good and the bad with that print. It's a okay. very common print that every single uh, manufacturer had. However, bring it in closer. Mm -hmm. I don't... Is that a aquarium? Well, it says we have diamond head and this... Let me see here. See, look at the thing next to the island on the back. I, I've never seen that on that print. Is that a little bamboo aquarium? This? Uh, wait a minute. Here, here, right oh, there. here. Oh! 
Well, I don't know. Might I don't be. know either. That's the one thing. I've never seen that before in this print, so it was a little bit of a different of a print. It almost looks like one of those the Japanese way. houses we went and saw up on the hill by uh, Punchbowl Crater. So show Diamond Head. So those of you who don't have never been to uh, Honolulu, Waikiki, Oahu, which is basically all the same place, uh, Diamond Head is the, crea is the crater that sticks out at the edge of Waikiki. Pull a little tighter, Mom. Pull a little tighter? Yeah. There you go. So it's not always labeled as nicely as it sure is, but if you see that little kind of uh, uh, mountain that kind of comes up to a point, that is Diamond Head, and that's a good thing to use uh, as a descriptive word for your Hawaiian shirt. So if you have a shirt that you think might be Diamond Head and you're not 100% sure, just pop it into the group, and me or my mom or anyone else who knows uh, will be more than happy to tell you if it is yay Diamond Head or nay. Not Nadine, but not 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 Diamond Head. The Aloha Tower on it. Yeah, it's got, the, yeah. it's got the Aloha Tower on it with King Kamehameha standing on the top. Now, I've never seen that before. See it, Jace? Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, never seen that before. This print's getting weirder and weirder. Yep. Yeah, see, so yep. that's, that's cool. what, that's what, you know, what, why it caught our eye, uh, so to speak. Speaking of Diamond Head, do you want me to tell them about our big find way back when? I you don't know what you're going to tell me, but sure, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we were at a uh, church rummage sale, oh. Dad and I, and uh, Dad had found it first. He looked at it, and it was a picture of Diamond Head painted on a black velvet, and he set it back down. And then I came along and looked at it, of course, picked it up, and of course, when it was Diamond Head, I, I knew it was going to be a keeper, no matter what, and it cost us three bucks. And it was so before you, before you go on, hey, Dad, why'd you set it back down? Because I thought she it would be a keeper, and, and she'd buy it for herself, and I was tired of her spending money for herself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Now, now we're on the same path. All right, I got it. <laughs> so it was signed, so at, at that point, now this, this was like our first year of fishing, so we're talking like four years ago, so we, we didn't know a whole lot. I didn't have my, my phone to look up anything back in that period of time. Just bought it. So we just bought it. Put it up for auction. No, no, no. We came home, we did the research, and it was signed in the corner. Frank P. Oda was the name in the corner, and we did some research, and we realized that he's a very famous painter, and that he definitely is worth some bucks. So we put it up for auction. We thought we'd do an auction on this. And back in the earlier days, I did more auctions than buy it now. So we put up for auction, seven days. Started out at 99 bucks, and when we got down to the last day, you know, the bid started going crazy, back and forth, back and forth, and we ended up selling that particular painting for $450. Wow. Three so, bucks to 450 Yeah. Well, and really, it was 460 Yeah, it was 460 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, that was our biggest find, except for the Conway Beauty Jacket. That was good to speak in. Oh, yeah. It was really good. Um, but I don't know, for those of you who have sabers in your areas, tomorrow's holiday, Columbus Day, 50% off, gang. Uh, pretty much everything. Clothing, accessories. No, uh, not accessories. Clothing, bed and bath. R says accessories. R says it had quite a long list, Jay. So, so they, might, they must mean like scarves and stuff like that because it's not the tchotchkes are not on sale. Well, it didn't say that, but it said yeah. clothing, accessories, and well, there was three or four Bend things. Bath. Bend bath. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but Monday, holiday Monday is always good days to stock up on clothing because if you don't know it, you can take some extra gamble or you can buy some extra goodies because it is half off. And, uh, you know, I don't feel they price too highly, so when it's half off, you can get some really sweet deals. Right. Now I'm going to show you <laughs> the most money I have ever spent for an item in my life. And I hope the return is there. Okay. We have a company by us called Restore. I don't know if everybody knows what Restores are. They're pretty nationwide. Yeah. I, I didn't yeah. know if they were or not. And it's real close to us. Yeah, very not true. in Philly, Nadine. I see you shaking your head down there. No favors, no Restore. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Radio controlled surfer. Lean it forward a little bit. Okay. Come this way. This okay. way. See the name there? Board Sharks Surfer. All right, now back it up a little bit, Mom, and hold it up a little bit. There we go, so we can see the whole thing. It's a guy on a surfboard that's all radio controlled, and even if you forget what you're doing, it, it has a, a beacon, beacon on it where it'll come back to its home spot. It'll never get lost. Wow. 
Yeah, and it's quite a it's quite a deal. And uh, they wanted seventy five dollars for it. I went, gee whiz! And we had and we know a girl that works there. We're real good friends with her. And I called her over. I said, Hey, how can I get this on sale? She said, uh, It'd be another three weeks. I went, No, no, no. <laughs> so I, I did look it up while I, while we were there, and um, basically Amazon supposedly starts them out at four hundred and some dollars. And some of them have sold from 150 to 290. So I said, okay, let's take the chance. And I brought it home. We've got it listed for 245. We'll see what happens. I'll buy it now. So I'm a little nervous. I've never spent that much money. Before. <laughs> it, and it, it's new. It is. It's new, new in the box. I mean, even you know, they've never been. The, uh, they've never been out of the box. Been out of the ties and They're all that. They're tied so. in there. Yeah. So we need to scan it and see if it has sold on Amazon. If it's selling for 400, you need to ship it into FBA. Oh, yeah, I don't know how to do that. You have to help, Mom. Yeah, well, if it's selling for 400 and you're asking 240 and you can get 400 through Amazon, you're shipping it. Okay. Well, you just let me know what I have to do. Yep. We will uh, uh, write down, uh, do two things. Write down the UPC and take an actual picture of just the UPC and bring it to, to Chicago because, hey, let me, let me pop on here. Hey, my parents are coming to Chicago, where I'm at right now, and I'm going to be the keynote speaker at the Ecom Chicago event. And guess what? Bonus guess, my parents are going to be uh, have a little segment about how, if you're really freaking old, you can still do this. Or Wait, a like Wait a minute. Are we old? Wait a minute. I didn't think we were old. Who are you talking about now? Uh, the one of us that has no hair. Oh, whoops, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at look at my dad's hair. He's seventy three. Look at my head. I'm forty four. What the hell happened? I want everybody to know too much blue and red dye when he was in the funk business. When he never was. never red, only orange, Dad. <laughs> orange, orange and blue. I know you had blue. <laughs> no, the actual title of their speech is "So You Can Teach an Old Dog New Tricks." Mom and Dad are killing it on eBay. You've seen the awesome scores they just popped up with. They're selling polo mallets. They didn't know shit about polo mallets until they had to learn. So Who knows anything about a polo mallet? <laughs> Not us. That's what I thought when I looked at it, I went, I've never seen a polo mallet. But I'll, I might as well buy them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. When the price is right, you definitely uh, you gotta, you gotta go for it. Well, then when I negotiated the price, I went, hey, you got any more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so bring a bring a picture and write down the UPC, and uh, we'll look at it with Chris's app, Scan Power, and we'll see. Uh, there's also a, a website called Camel 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 that you know when things sell on Amazon. All right. So if they are selling, we will get we will teach you or have someone local who already is doing it to have it ship it in, and we'll get it sold for you. We'll make we'll make big bucks for you. You want uh, pictures of the whole thing or just the UPC? Just need the UPC. We're holding the picture. We know what the whole thing looks like now. Okay, got it. Excellent. So that's pretty much uh, all our goodies, guys. Oh, I can tell you this. What we just sold that are kind of did. We sold a vintage 8 millimeter movie projector that was in beautiful condition. Thanks to Dad. Dad's picking up the unique things. He's really uh, branched us out. So we're you know, definitely out of our comfort zone on everything we've been picking up. So that, that's been helping. So we that bought was, that for $2.50. And what did we sell for? Remember? It was a good, good, good return. Forty-seven dollars. Yeah, and um, and we made money on the shipping. Yeah, I made a few bucks on the shipping. And with it was a uh, a screen, a forty-eight by forty-eight fold-down screen, and we paid two fifty for that too. We we just put it up uh, just yeah, the other day. Yeah. So we'll see on that. But yeah, we're having a ball. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a partnership. We uh, go out thrifting together. You know, Dad is in charge of shipping and photography, and I'm in charge of listing and. So we definitely uh, work hand in hand, and we love it. We love the hunt, just like everybody else, I'm sure. That's great. All right, speaking of the hunt, I'm going to share a few things from my hunt in Chicago. And uh, uh, Stacy and I and our good friends, the Crickmans, they have taken, they drove us all over the other day, and we've hit a few vintage stores. And when you go to vintage stores, they typically price their items what they feel is accurate, and I've found one or two pieces at, at each store that I feel they're way under, so I don't mind paying somewhat of a premium. You know, mom and dad are buying uh, Arnold Palmer golf clubs for a dollar, and I'm paying 30 bucks for a shirt, but I'm paying 30 bucks for a shirt I am pretty sure will sell for 100 So let me show you a couple of the cool finds I found, and then we'll call it a night. Now, this one 
Uh, it, it is a decent vintage Hawaiian brand called Malahini. Uh, this is about 1970s, and it's got the 1970s colors. It's Birds of Paradise. Now, this shirt is not all that amazing, and I normally wouldn't show it, but the funny thing was the section it was in in this vintage store was the raver section. So if you're going to a rave, make sure to wear your polyester 1970s Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so that made us laugh, and I was going to buy it anyway. How much did you pay for that? Oh, uh, that one I paid. Yeah, I want to tell everybody because when these sell, I want to show you that you can make money when things are priced higher okay, than what a What size is it? This one. Oh, this one was only ten bucks, and this size is excuse me, a large. So uh, you know, it's like a thirty-five, forty dollars shirt. Now this one is a size XL. I paid twenty-six for it. It is a vintage Hilo Hatties. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But here's what's awesomely cool. It was specifically made for Dole Pineapple. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. And I'm oh. guessing Dole had mushrooms at one point because the whole shirt is pineapples. Oh, yeah. and mushrooms. Look at that. Well, we, we had been to Dole Vintage, their first store. Yeah, their first hut. Their first hut. It was a hut. Oh, and Hilo Hattie, we've met her. Yeah. <laughs> we were fortunate enough to meet her. So did uh, did 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 Dole have mushrooms? No, <laughs> no, not, not when no. we were there. Because we we were at the. I mean, it was a little shack, the thatched roof, outdoors, tiny little thing. The room you're in right now, Jason, was bigger. Is bigger than the hut. Than the, their hut. Yeah, they sold you know three strips of pineapple for a buck, and you put your little salt, salt on, on it, and and away you go. Now they have this big commercial building, all the cute Hawaiian flavors kind of gone. That was uh, 1964. Four. Yeah, so I mean, I was going to buy it anyway because I, I truly think that's a $100 shirt. But the okay. fact that it's pineapples and mushrooms, that never goes together anywhere, <laughs> ever. That's amazing. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. All right, this is a made in Hawaii, which is, you know, the problem with that label is there's no keywords like Hilo Hattie that stick out. But yeah. it is a bar cloth that looks like it has never been worn. Oh, nice. I like the print. Yeah, it's only wrinkly because it was in a bag. But it, and and luckily, my short wife noticed it hanging from the ceiling, <laughs> and it was only twenty bucks. And it's a vintage, and it's probably a medium or a large. Oh no, it's a large. And um, uh, I, I think it's about eighties based on the shortness of the collar. But I, I still think that's like a forty to fifty dollars shirt, nice. based on how crisp it is. I like the print. Now this we bought, uh, Stacy might keep it, but I want to show you how crazy awesome this is. So the brand is Alex Coleman of California. I don't know much about that, I don't know anything about that brand actually, but it's definitely a 70s flower power kind of shirt. That's a beauty. But, he, but here's what's awesome. It still has its original tag on it. <laughs> it has never been worn. It's from Marshall Field and Company. And at one point, it was $10 and then marked down to 6 <laughs> So even if she doesn't keep it, to have this original tag on it's pretty bitchin'. That's nice. Cool. And we paid, we paid 16 for that. So they took the 10 and the 6 and put them together. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love it. Um, this is Don Loper of California. So not Ooh. really a Hawaiian brand. Uh, but I have sold Don Loper before, but this is an awesome bar cloth uh, tap of print. And again, pretty much looks unworn. It's just amazing how crisp this shirt is. And this one was only uh, 16 bucks, and it's a large, and I'll put this up in the uh, 40 to $50 range. Hey, Jay, on that particular shirt, a uh, quick yeah, story, uh, on one of the I Love Lucy uh, stories when they were out in Hollywood, Don Loper appeared on her show and they showed some of his vintage uh, uh, gowns and suits and so forth. It was him, Don Loper. And so there you go, see? Mm -hmm. I, yep, that's how I know that name. Love it. I'm watching Lucy. Thank you, Maida. Well, I'll say, see, isn't it good to have old parents? Yep. <laughs> All right, so I saved the, be the, last, the best three for last. Uh, I'm trying to decide what's the best. Okay, I think I'll go this order. So you can tell by this label, it's an old work shirt because it says Union Made. Caleb V. Smith and Son Incorporated. You can tell how they monogrammed Bill's name on it that it's old because you don't monogram like that. But here's what's awesome about it. 
It is a PBR delivery oh, worksheet. Oh, my. Okay, so there's a small one right there, and then the big one on the back. Oh, what size? Uh, it does not have a size. I did pay 36 for this, but I fully think this is at least a $100 shirt. Yeah, that's a beauty. So that's pretty bitching. All right. Well, you've narrowed your... Uh, Profit margin? Your audience, because uh, how many bills are there? Well, luckily it says Bill and not like Ishka Bibble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bill's pretty easy to work with. Jason, Bill, Tom, you know. All right, so again, not a brand I was all that concerned about. It's more about the shirt. So this is Lancer of California, okay? I know that name. Hello, 70s. It is a 70s print shirt of buildings in Washington, D.C. Oh, cool. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Is that long-sleeved? Uh, yes, it is long-sleeved oh. in immaculate shape, <laughs> and I paid... 28. It's a size large, made in Korea, 100% polyester. It is so bitchin'. Maybe 150 bucks. How often do you see a vintage 70s print of of uh, Washington D.C.? That's mm -hmm. awesome. And the more I look, it is D.C. and I think it's New York too, because I'm pretty sure I just saw the Statue of Liberty. Yep, it is D.C. and New York together. I just discovered. Right here, live on air. I just discovered. Double it. branding. Double branding. Oh, I know. Double yeah. branding. One of two awesome cities. And the last shirt, and I paid. I'll go paid first. I paid twenty-seven for this one, size extra large. I don't. I don't even know this brand. It's rare for me to not know a Hawaiian brand. <laughs> Dai Romo. Okay. But you ready for it? The Hawaii Elks shirt. Oh my. Yep. <laughs> That. Wow. And I, I've sold another elk shirt in the $75 range from Hawaii Vintage Shirt. And this one, look at this. This is so badass. That's awesome. I love the purple. Yeah. Again, in immaculate shape. I mean, it's crazy. And, and you know, I just wanted to show people that if you know your shit, if you're in your niche, if you're in your lane, you can spend 27 on an item that you know you can get 100 for. Don't be afraid. That's awesome. You know, because I found one kick-ass shirt every place we went. Well, that 75 bucks is not my niche, but let's hope it turns out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, somebody wants to know if, if I knew that was a 70 shirt based on my research. I know it's a 70 shirt based on a few things. The collar, that it's 100% polyester, uh, and the coloring... And uh, the main Korea doesn't tip it off too much, but any the, the collar definitely, you know, collar and or tags always gives away the decade. The, the longer and pointier the collar, the more in the 70s we got. And then as soon as the 80s hit, the collars went really small and short. Uh, yep. People say congrats on your marathon in the chat. Thank you, she said. Yes, congratulations, Stacy. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so those are my cool finds. Uh, nothing, you know, I don't have a giant haul this week, but uh, you can, with a little bit of hunting, find cool stuff anywhere you go. My dad and mom can do it. Nadine can do it. I can do it. Uh, even if you're new to this, it can be done in any major city, in any podunk, Newberry, Ohio, it can be done. Right. Whether you're in Chicago or Newberry, there's always cool stuff to be found. You just got to look. Even if you don't have savers like me. <laughs> Oh hey, but well, you got Philly AIDS thrift, and I was. Yes, just, oh, I know that is. That is I gotta awesome. get back to Philly AIDS thrift. I'm, I'm itching to go back there. Oh, because I told her, uh, I said I have to find another Harl Taylor purse. Oh well, yeah, I have yeah. to go back there. I'm, I might <laughs> lunch one day if I if I get the. Uh... All right, well that is our haul. I'll see if there's any other questions. Uh, so I see somebody who's going to see us at uh, Econ this week, Tracy Atkinson. I look forward to seeing you. Uh, uh, and, hey, people want to know, Nadine, where are the cats at? This is a very odd I occurrence. Know, there are, all, I, I guess they're all upstairs. upstairs. I see one on a step. There's a little paw. I can see a little paw. I don't want to unplug my computer. Yep, Again. there's there's one right there. Yeah, she's up higher. She's not in her usual step. But yeah, very rare for them not to come down and see what's yeah, happening. Yeah, I don't know. I guess they're all upstairs. The dog is sleeping, so they I guess feel you know a little more less threatened right now. So. 
All right, well, hey, we had 74 tuning in on a odd Sunday night, so I want to thank everyone for tuning in. I want to thank my parents for being an awesome hall guest. And, uh, Thanks for having us. We can have them yeah. anytime because they're a good duo. But uh, if you're in Chicago at the Ecom event this weekend, you are in for a treat. Mom and Dad will be uh, featured, and I was told by the people that put it together he thinks more people are coming to see them than me. So... <laughs> They went from being that, oh, your son's Jason, to, hey, that's your parents. <laughs> <laughs> so we will have a good time this weekend. I've got a whole new speech all ready to go, uh, lots of learning about taking pictures, and that's my new passion, to get people to take better pictures so they can sell their items for more money and quicker. Because let me tell you, your pictures sell your items. If you see right below here, where is my hand? Right there. That's a little uh, Jack Skellington pumpkin I sold. And I took the time to make sure it looked good and it looked better on all black, and it sold like that. And others had that same pumpkin for sale for less, and their pictures were crummy. And mine was good, and mine sold very quickly. So uh, I'm going to make sure everyone has good pictures in their listing. So that's part of my speech this week. Mom and Dad are going to talk a little bit about what you saw tonight and a little bit more how they divide the work between two retired uh, folks and how they get it done and still have a normal, fun life. Mom plays cards with her girls and dad plays cards with his guys and they still get it all done. And they chase uh, little ones around uh, three days a week too. Yep, watching those grand girls. <laughs> and when I say little ones, I don't mean my brother Buzz who's 40. I mean, <laughs> I mean my nieces who are very young. Three and one. Three and one. She's pretty young. <laughs> yeah. All right, Nadine. Well, it's great to see you, my dear. I haven't seen you in a week or so. Yep, me too. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in. No show this week, Thursday night. We will all be at the Ecom event kind of doing a pre-party. Um, as soon as I get back, we will maybe throw another haul in. And then next Thursday, we don't have the guests lined up yet, but next Thursday. So a week from this Thursday. So not the this Thursday. The 22nd of October. That's thank you. The 22nd, we'll be back with Thrifty Business with JNA. Back to all our hijinks of scores, duds, Thrifty Business. Oh, and I got a good Close Encounters one for you today. I got okay. a good one. It, it happened the other day. It was cray cray. Cool. <laughs> so thank you, mommy and daddy. Thank. Uh, oh, thanks for having us. Yes, oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you, thank you see you. See you. Yeah, you take care, everybody. See you in Chicago. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.